in step three, I'm sorry, in step four of an SEM analysis, I will define an SEM model. Defining an SEM model entails initially creating latent variables. So I'll create uh, one latent variable here. I uh, will define it as measured through several indicators and as formative. The definition here can be formative or reflective. Uh, reflective, in the reflective measurement, the indicators used to measure the latent variable are redundant. In formative, they are not redundant. They measure different facets of the same latent variable, but they are not redundant. So they are not expected to be highly correlated with each other in the formative way. Uh, I'll create another latent variable, which I'm going to call Fe. And I will define it as measured by various indicators and as reflective in another latent variable, which I'm going to call FA. It's a good idea to, ma to name the indicators in your original data set in this way, uh, starting with the name that you expect to have for the latent variable and then numbered. So this essentially it it's helps you know when you're creating the latent variable that those are the indicators you use to measure that latent variable. As a next step, I will create direct links. Here, my suggestion is not to try to do it too fast. Otherwise, the, the software will not capture uh, your mouse options. So if you try to do it super fast, well, I did fast now in work, but sometimes it doesn't. Let me try again. Uh, okay, see? So do it slowly. Click on the variables slowly that you want to link. You can also create moderating links. A moderating link is a link between a latent variable and a link between two other latent variables. So this is an effect of a variable on a link. Other options that you have here are you can drag and drop, move variables around as you wish. You can show and hide indicators. Uh, this is useful for you to check whether you included the indicators and you did not make any mistake by uh, defining one indicator as belonging to the wrong latent variable. But usually for modeling, just beyond this check, I would suggest hiding indicators as you create your, your model. And um, here you can save your model as a JPEG file. I will save this model as a JPEG file. I'll call it test save it and then you can open that J JPEG file with a viewer you can even crop the image and uh, you can uh, include this in reports uh, you could crop most viewers will allow you to crop the the figure to make it smaller and once you're done, you either save model or close, or you cancel the model creation. If you cancel the model creation, all the editing is lost. The software asks you to confirm that. If you don't confirm, you go back. And normally what a user will do is to save the model and close. And then... Uh, the user will be taken back to the previous screen that uh, allows the user to proceed to uh, step 5. This concludes this demo on step 4.